Well, Joe, I just told everybody you had nothing but good news. I tried to deliver good news. It's a Friday, first weekend of summer, yeah. and all the storms have pushed off to the east. But we saw some, some people are wondering what storms. That's because they were kind of like spotty here and there, southwest Washington, if you're in parts of uh, Clackamas County. I think you, one came through Portland in the station, too, and just sort of soaked everything for five minutes, and then it was gone. The yeah, I could back. tell when I went out for my dinner break that it had just rained. But uh, again, it didn't stick around for too long. But <laughs> heading into the weekend, we're going to be seeing some really nice weather moving through David temperature of 60 degrees right now under clear skies. Winds are pretty light. We'll usher in some clouds for briefly tomorrow morning, but I say we're done with the, some of the uh, stormy conditions, but still picking up some heavier downpours uh, just southeast of Mount Bachelor and along the east side of the state for the weekend. We'll have a weak ridge of high pressure develop, but that just means pleasant weather heading into both Saturday and Sunday and really beyond. As we zoom in a little bit, you can kind of see up and down the I-5 corridor. That was kind of the, the last bit of some shower activity be about 8 o'clock near Canby and parts of Clackamas County. Again, parts of McMinnville didn't see much in terms of thunderstorms. Either did uh, parts of some of the suburbs, but uh, downtown Vancouver definitely saw some earlier this afternoon or early tonight. First weekend of summer, I'm describing it as sunny and nice daytime highs in the low 80s. Again, both Saturday and Sunday morning clouds followed by afternoon sunshine. Those morning clouds don't stick around for too long and we'll slowly see our temperatures warm up. I'm not tracking record breaking heat, but I am tracking a bit of a warm up that arrives by the I'd say next Thursday and into Friday for the weekend, though, we're going to be looking at morning clouds for tomorrow. Temperature of 83 by the afternoon and just as nice for Sunday. So there will be a little bit of some unstable air moving in along the Oregon Idaho border and along parts of I-84. So as we put the future cast into motion, you can kind of see where those showers pop up right around lunchtime, just south of Pendleton and into Baker City. You'll start to see some of those showers develop and they get really intense throughout the afternoon and evening throughout the southeast side of the state, even Bend and Redmond, I think you might hear some rumbles of thunder and here and there, but I don't think you're going to be seeing any downpours at times throughout tomorrow afternoon and heading into early Sunday morning, a little bit of some cloud cover, and then we see some really nice weather. And I think Monday we'll start to see those kind of clouds stick around a little bit longer. And because of that, temperatures will be just a little bit cooler. But this is coming in from the Storm Prediction Center showing where those thunderstorms could roll in for tomorrow. Again, the coast and the, most of the valley is out of the woods. I don't think we're going to be seeing that much of a, a window uh, in terms of thunderstorm activity and in terms of rainfall non-existent. We saw some light sprinkles and that's about all we saw with some of those storms that rolled in earlier today. Temperatures currently are in the upper 50s, Woodland 56 degrees and throughout the Clackamas County area. Temperatures are right around 60 degrees. Now for our highs today, we saw temperatures in the low to mid 80s, the mid to the upper 70s down in wine country in McMinnville and over in uh, Troutdale and you saw temperatures in the low 80s. The Dow's got close to 90. A big difference in your temperatures was along the Oregon coast uh, running 25, 30 degrees cooler in a few locations, maybe not quite 30, uh, but Still, that onshore flow never really burned off a whole lot along the coast. You'll see a little bit more of the sunshine by tomorrow, but a nice summer weekend in store is staying nice into next week as well. And you'll notice uh, heading into Thursday, that's when our temperatures start to warm up as that ridge of high pressure starts to grow in strength. But again, it's a couple of days with temperatures in the mid to the upper 80s. If we're lucky, maybe close to 90 come Friday and then we cool off looking at long range models. Temperature tomorrow of 83, David, and as we head into the next few days, Upper 70s to low 80s is kind of the common number. Again, a chance to see 90 degrees as we get ready to kick off the holiday weekend next Friday. Hey, I promise you delivered. Good there teamwork, we go. right? Exactly. Way to go. <laughs>